Time for our spotlight program here on this Friday morning, and once a month we like to reserve a little bit of time to talk about the Carnegie Museum. John Godwin joins us today back in the studios. Hi, John. How are you? Oh, not too bad. I'm not too... Uh, excited about this white stuff. Yeah, right? the uh, pitchers yeah. and catchers reported for the Cubs on the 14th. So well, today good. is uh, today's opening day for the Iowa Hawkeye baseball team. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah, they're in Charleston taking on Seton Hall. So uh, at four o'clock this afternoon, I'll be uh, sidled right up next to my phone, <laughs> listening to it and uh, thinking that it's summertime. Yeah. And they have a home game Tuesday against Loris, which will be cool with daytime highs in the 60s. So uh, enough about that. Um, John is one of two uh, new additions to the uh, the Carnegie Historical Museum uh, Board of Directors. And for those, uh, I know we've talked about it here on the air before, but there are actually two boards that uh, uh, serve at the uh, will of, or for the um, preservation of the museum. One is the uh, Museum Board, which operates under the umbrella of the city, uh, which actually has ownership of the building. And then there's the Foundation Board, which is sort of the um, fiduciary uh, financial arm of the uh, museum as well. But yourself and then our guest Jason Strong uh, recently uh, joined the uh, city board, is what we call it, from our side. Talk about the reasons why uh, both of you decided it would be a good idea to become part of those uh, part of the board for the Carnegie Museum. Right. Well, uh, being having no kids around the house now for a while, uh, I was able to actually help out more on the board. And I, this was the one that... It, Appealed to my heart more once I actually went in and toured the museum, and uh, just love the what we're doing there and all the all the things going on around there. Well, I want to remind folks that you can now watch this spotlight program. It's going to be on the uh, the Carnegie website and social media pages as well. Jason Strong with Fairfield Media Group Media Center, excuse me, is in the studio and he is uh, filming. But also, Jason, you're now a board member as well. So, uh, what inspired you to become part of the board? Uh, I've always I've always shown an interest in history and, uh, you know, going through high school and having uh, Mark Schaefer as my art teacher, uh, you know, he always said a lot of historical stuff and with him being involved over there, it kind of piqued my interest still. And then uh, got got involved with the Fairfield History Series films with Fairfield Productions and that just fed that historical avenue in my life even more and so uh it just seemed like a natural fit and when a position came open i threw my name in the ring and you know my my kids are getting older and they're growing up and and so i've got more time where i can do a few more things like that so it's interesting you mentioned the fairfield history series and i i know this and you you, you both know this but um in addition to the museum just being open for people to go and look around and explore their past the past of jefferson county and and fairfield proper um the museum is also used as a site for research for college students from not just Iowa, but around the upper Midwest as well. And Jason, I'm assuming that uh, with your ties to the Fairfield film series, you've become intimately uh, knowledgeable about all aspects of the museum, haven't you? <laughs> no, I, ha- I haven't gotten intimate with every part of it yet. I'm sure there's going to be those opportunities where I'm going to get to know every aspect very, very well. Oh, Wait, so, so you haven't done a spot on the uh, Greek sculptures then not yet no oh, okay uh I, I did fill in one saturday for for uh jake and you know to have the museum open and uh in some ways i was fortunate a blizzard hit that first time around so <laughs> but uh but no being able to uh to be there and just you know part of it's you gotta slowly kind of build up that knowledge otherwise you're gonna get overwhelmed our museum has so much uh, in it that it's that it's just great every time you go in there you find something new and it continues to expand as well and we'll talk more about that in the days and weeks to come again uh, john godwin and jason stronger guests here today uh, jason let's talk about this uh, fairfield media center is uh, becoming more and more involved with the carnegie museum and the foundation not only filming this program uh, chamber talk once a month but also uh, doing the uh, video feature on the century uh, and heritage farm families and what's that been like for you it's actually been really, really fun. Uh, I actually started out filming it myself, and uh, eventually we brought on uh, Ariel Seawall, and we're using that as a teaching tool to, one, help train other camera people and editors for the Fairfield Media Center, and it gives them a great opportunity in a uh, controlled setting to learn those things. And then it's benefiting the museum because, you know, 
making that content, getting that content out, and getting people more aware of how active the museum is. Yeah, the video archiving of this information is invaluable. Now, this month they've been uh, they honored the farm of. Um, the Angstead Farm, out uh, east of town. Uh, t- two weeks from today, there will be a new uh, family honored. John, who's going to be honored for the uh, Century Heritage Farm Family of the Month in uh, March? In March, we are going to have our own board member, John Carlson. His farm uh, over by Lockridge, uh, and I'll get to interview him, and uh, we'll get to learn more. We'll have another display. The Angstead display is up for a couple more weeks, like you said, and then uh, John's display will come up for the first Friday art walk is when we do the uh, presentation. Jo- um, Jason, have you filmed your your, uh, your segment with John Carlson yet? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. We do th- we, we do it live. Do it live. We film that live as it's going on. So that'd be March 1st? Yes. Yeah, Friday, March 1st. Mm-hmm. So two weeks from today is when you're going to be doing that up there. And um, uh, John, maybe you can talk about when you reach out to the to these families, um, Heritage, and, Heritage and Century Farm families, what sort of things are you telling them to research and bring in? Just to go through their family history? Yeah, first of all, to get through their family history, you know, how it came to be, where their ancestors came from, if they know. Uh, but just basically from when the 100 years or 150 years started and uh, kind of go up from there. And we just ask them things they, they remember about the farm and how growing up on the farm, because a lot of them are to the point where some don't live on the farm anymore and they pass that on down. So. It's just uh, we get to that point. We have a list of questions, and Sandy Gillespie helps us out with that. And we, we get some pretty large group family groups there, mm-hmm. and I know they always try to take a, like a family or a group picture. And you'd be amazed how how many family members show up yeah. that that actually don't go up and talk, but they're you know it's all an intimate part. It's a family, so. And this will be the twenty second time, twenty second month in a row that a family farm, a heritage farm, or a century farm, been honored uh, through the Carnegie Museum. All right, uh, real quickly, coming up on the second of March is the uh, I think it's the eighth annual. Is it the eighth annual Southeast Iowa Farm Show? Eighth or ninth? Eighth yeah. or ninth. And uh, I know that the museum will be having a booth over there to kind of gain more exposure. We will. Uh, we got kind of excited about that in the last few weeks. We thought that'd be a great way to get some exposure for the museum. And uh, we're going to share a booth over there and uh, get our name out some more. All right. So, again, that's on Saturday, March 2nd over at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. Uh, I know that people, if they travel uh, on um, Washington or maybe even here on uh, Court Street, they'll see that over the last uh, almost 12 months now, there's been some activity in and around the museum going on. Um, The final touches are being done on the tuck pointing and the brickwork. Yeah, they ran out of time with the weather last fall, so they're going to be coming back, and that should be completed this spring sometime. And then the next the next project, which I'm excited about, is the uh, window restoration project, which will probably start in um, maybe late March, early April, taking those windows, which were replaced 50 years ago, um, uh, replacing them with some more historical style windows within the museum. And that's kind of going to be the last thing for a little bit on the capital improvement projects. But um, if you have traveled down course, you, you've probably noticed the fundraising um, uh, graph there mm-hmm. there's still opportunities to help get in on this uh, fundraising for this last window project right? absolutely yeah like you said uh, we're really excited about the new windows coming in because they're going to be based on the windows that were originally in the building of course more efficient yeah <laughs> hopefully <laughs> right <laughs> but yeah there is a little bit of time left to, to give some money for that and we totally appreciate that as a very bad foundation board member i know that we spent time looking back to historic photos mm-hmm. inside and outside of the museum trying to find just the right window to be uh, put in those spots and then uh, from the interior uh, shots that we have seen from the mid part of the last century um, beautiful um wooden blinds were Mm -hmm. uh, covering the windows and we're actually going to try to replicate that as well so it'll be very when it's all said and done probably by mid-summer ought to be really nice as well so again that's uh, just an update on some of the work being done over at the fairfield carnegie museum south court street here in fairfield uh any programs or meetings coming up Uh, that anybody know about just the uh coming up with the on the first Friday hour walk, but also uh, Jake Schmidt, our curator, wanted to let everyone know the upcoming class reunions are encouraged to contact the Carnegie Historical Museum because on Friday or Saturday we have Reign of the Middle section as well. And it's just a place to come in and, and class reunions can reminisce about fun times. That they rem- Everybody remembers their time in the library. So uh, we have all the yearbooks from every year 
uh, at Fairfield, and uh, it's handicap accessible, so you don't have to worry. You know, if they're if it's a 60 year, 70 year reunion, uh, they can still make it, and we even provide coffee. Jake will do that for you. All right. So again, there's no charge for that, and again, uh, all area cl- throughout yeah. the county, every every uh, district in the county is welcome to do that as well, and the outside counties as well. So anyway, it's the Carnegie Museum, uh, Jake. The uh, hours of operation, or excuse me, Jake John, the hours of operation. <laughs> we are open Tuesday through Friday from noon to four, and Saturday we're there eleven to three. And uh, let's remind folks of the volunteer opportunities that are available. Absolutely. Uh, you can contact Jake uh, Schmidt, our curator, and there's always there's so much to do at the Carnegie Museum. Uh, there's there's things we have to go through. There's pictures we have to find. There's just so much. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah, unreal. It, it's it, it's going to take years. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a long process. Yeah, there's a lot of archives. <laughs> oh, yeah. Archives, so. Uh, so if you'd like more information on volunteering, you can uh, contact, stop over and talk to Jake about that. There's a little bit of uh, orientation that people need to go through as well. So, all right. As Mark used to say, that's what's new at the uh, museum. That's right. Uh, the Carnegie Museum. Hey, guys, thanks a lot. we got to take a break. we got markets just around the corner. Another look at your forecast. And CBS News top of the hour.